Why do government agencies have it in for Elon Musk? Or another question may be, do government agencies have it in for Elon Musk? Well, you might expect me to join the chorus and claim that Elon is being picked on because of his move to the right politically, some of the causes that he has championed, his purchase of Twitter and other things like that. And maybe even the way he managed the purchase of Twitter and the way that he is turning it into a success would make them mad. <laughs> and then just to add one more piece to the argument in favor of unfair treatment, he's not unionized. And you know what? I would probably say all true to the above. This is Randy Kirk. Hit like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. Um, buy the Cybertruck, you know, oh, bottle opener. All right, let's move on. So let's give the devil its due. <laughs> the government, the devil, the government, its day in court. We're going to we're going to pretend we're going to steel man the government in this particular case. Let's see what happens. All right. Number one, Elon is an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs hate rules. I've said this before. You look up entrep rule breaker in the encyclopedia or the dictionary. It's got entrepreneur right next to it. Well, Elon is the greatest entrepreneur of all time, so you can expect that he probably is a rule breaker. He hates rules and he hates, well, he probably doesn't hate the rule makers. I sometimes do. He pays as little attention to those rules as he possibly can, and he breaks them without very much thought anytime they get in his way. Does anybody disagree with that analysis? Again, describes me as well. In my running my businesses, I definitely break rules and <laughs> ignore them. All right. Uh, maybe you're an entrepreneur. Let me know in the comments below. Does that also say the same thing about you? Or maybe not. Maybe you are a business owner and you follow the rules very strictly. Now, as, you, as you'll as you probably know from the Elon Musk method, I define uh, business owners in five different categories and not all of them are entrepreneurs. Some of them are managers, and managers would tend to be rule keepers, the Tim Cook types, okay? I mean, people might look at him as a great entrepreneur. He's not an entrepreneur. He's a manager. <laughs> it's a very different kind of guy. Do you compare Tim Cook to Elon Musk in terms of the way they're running the companies? Managers can turn you know, something like Apple into something amazing. And the next generation, the guy who replaces Elon Musk 25 years from now might make Tesla even better than Elon did. But it's a different kind of guy. All right, let's move on. Our gal. Number two, Elon Musk believes that most government rules are ridiculous, worse than useless, counterproductive in many, many cases, and often designed to help some donor or voter you to, to, the, to the detriment of some other group. Does anybody think that's wrong? Certainly, that's how a lot of these rules get put in place. An existing company, an existing industry goes in and helps write the rules specifically the way they'd like to see them written in order to keep other people at bay, in order to keep more entrepreneurial types from getting in their way in order to keep their competition in other countries or in other regions or, or who are unionized or who are not unionized from getting um, a, a leg up. Yes, that's how a lot of the rules take place. And a lot of the rules are by do-gooders who think that they're going to help society or help some group or help somebody because of their skin color or their sex or their size or their uh, color of their eyes or because of their IQ or because their parents were this or that or the other. A whole list of things that people are trying to overcome the horrors that have happened to these people in their past. And so they write the rules in order to benefit those people to the detriment of others. There's no, there's no, uh, uh, there's no situation where you can write a rule to benefit one class of folks that it doesn't hurt another class of folks. I have seen this happen with my own companies where I had uh, government contracts, military contracts, where I lost my contract to a company because they were employing blind workers to manufacture bicycle, printed bicycle water bottles. Can you imagine uh, a blind worker working on something that requires printing? I got nothing against blind workers. I'm happy to employ, I employed all kinds of people with different disabilities, um, but I, 
I'm sad to tell you that I don't think you can have a blind worker doing silkscreen printing. It's just not going to work. Now, maybe they had lots and lots of blind workers doing other activities, and that's how they qualified. But I lost the contract because th that was it. It had nothing to do with the price of the bottle. It had nothing to do with the quality of the bottle. It had nothing to do with whether it even worked or not. It had to do only with the fact that the company employed blind workers. Well, that's one group getting a benefit and to my detriment. And it was not a small amount of business. It was a million bottles a year. Um, so uh, Elon would say on the other side of the coin that a lot of regulations are necessary and are required. And so would I. You know, I'm sure that the FDA does some good. Um, I would say that the uh, education department does no good, but that's just my opinion. So, but that, Elon, uh, I think, would agree with what I just said. And so he wants some regulation, but regulation just goes nuts and crazy. And he believes that most government rules are ridiculous, worse than useless, counterproductive, and designed to help one group to the, to the detriment of somebody else. Number three, uh, Elon Musk has some very strongly held beliefs about merit approaches to life, about free speech, about freedom in general, and about the U.S. form of government and our capitalistic approach to markets. So in other words, he believes in the U.S. system of government, a, 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 rep re <laughs> a democratic republic, a, a representative form of government, a government with three, a tripartite government with three equal branches. He believes in the freedom of speech. He says to an extreme, he believes that. Well, when he sees government players attempting to thwart those very things that are foundational and fundamental to his belief system, then he knows that he has some clout that he can use to correct those issues. And he's not afraid to do it. And I'm glad. I happen to believe in all the things that I just, that he just, that I just uh, attributed to Elon also. I happen to believe every single one of those things are true, that we have the best form of government, that we have freedom, that the the, the uh, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of the of assembly, all the rest of the freedoms in the, in the uh, First Amendment and the rest of the uh, 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 amendments. The, the Constitution is a an incredible uh, product, an incredible output by an incredible group of people, and that we should continue to honor it <laughs> in even the 21st century. All right. Elon seems to think that it is partially his job to live, leave the planet better than he found it. Most of us were raised to clean up after ourselves. At a bare minimum, that was a requirement. And often our parents taught us to leave whatever situation that we came into better than what we found it. So you went to a cabin in the woods and when you cleaned it up, when you, you know, you rented one for the weekend, when you left, you left it better than you found it. Well, I think Elon was raised that way and he seems to feel that way. And he's characterized himself, some have characterized him as having a savior complex. Yeah, he clearly believes that some of his ideas will save civilization or that humans will be worse off if they take certain directions. But he is no different than millions of other folks who have fought and died for ideas. He's just a lot better equipped to create change than most. How many people, everybody that I knew at law school thought that they were smarter than everybody else and that they were going to change things with regard to how life was on the planet and they were going to make things better. That's that, that's why they went to law school was so that they could show the lesser folks how, 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 how much better it could be if only they were in charge. Now, I don't think Elon sees the rest of the folks as lesser. I think what he sees is here is an issue. Here's a problem. I can see a problem festering. It has nothing to do with people who are smart or dumb or whether I know better than them. All it is is I can see the future and this looks like a, a crisis in, in, in process and I have a solution for it. That's how he thinks. First principles. All right. Number five. So here you have a guy who has those four characteristics. How is that going to work against bureaucrats? Who are paid by the hour to make sure you do that you put the right paint on the right surface. Oh, yeah. And trust me, I can tell you stories about that. Because what I was for 20 years, I was painting water bottles. All right. How is that going to work when you have folks who stand to lose something if everyone's if everyone's future is determined by hard work and caring for others and by all those principles that we talked about above? What happens if I am getting a benefit? to somebody else's detriment because of the rule, and now you're threatening to take that away. Oh yeah, that doesn't go over big. 
How is that going to work when certain leaders' power positions are based on keeping those that they perceive as stupid or evil oppre or oppressed or worse in their place so that they can get keep getting the votes by promising people something for nothing or something better than what they're than what they have now? That's not going to work very good against these folks. <laughs> so yes, Elon brings a lot of it on himself for bending breaking and ignoring rules. He creates enemies by fighting for what he believes in. And then sometimes these people have a serious ability to, to create problems that Elon wants to solve and they're in his way. And some of these people have a lot of power to be able to try to keep Elon from getting his way, at least for the moment. We'll see how all of that plays out. What do you think? What do you think about all that? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> so, so hit the like if this is, you know, I'll do an essay like this from time to time. It's kind of a rant, I guess, um, but it's kind of just a description, a reality about our fearless leader, Elon. He's doing a great job, in my opinion. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notify. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when this is going to come out, so I can't tell you who's next or who was before. Um, but in the meantime, you might want to buy, you know, a Cybertruck. You, you know, if you liked what I just said, if you thought it was worth your time, if you think that you'd like to contribute, you don't have to even buy a Cybertruck. You can join at the $5 level or the $10 level, and there's no requirement that you get a free book or a free Cybertruck, but you might as well if you join Patreon. And the information is down below on how to do that. Or if you don't want to join Patreon for whatever reason, then how about just buy one of the Cybertrucks? Give it to a friend. It's getting close to Christmas. 95% of the folks that are listening to this channel right now are men. And you know that most of the time you buy your Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve. What would happen if you just bought five of these right now? You know the people that you'd like to give them to and you'd have five of your Christmas gifts already bought. Your wife would go crazy. She'd be like, what? You did what? <laughs> $25 a piece. <laughs> Go on down. Information below. I think that's it. That's my rant for today. Hope you liked it. It's been great talking to you. Um, if you don't mind, I do want to pitch my little uh, my little device here. I have these uh, little devices for 25 bucks. You you've, you you can't believe how cool this is. Look at how thick the stainless. I mean, holy mackerel! It comes in. <laughs> it comes in a camo as well. It's a can opener. I mean, I'm sorry, not a can opener, a bottle opener. So you got you got your bottle opener here too, and it's got a magnet on the back so you can slap it up on your fridge. I mean, huh? Is this good or what? So anyway, you just send 25 bucks to my PayPal account. It's down in the information below. Just click on there. You can send it 20. Now, if you're out of the country, I got to charge you an extra 20 bucks for uh, for freight. So and or if you join my Patreon, I'll give you one for at the $10 level. I'll give you one for free. Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle or audiobook now.